Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Carl Doc Greer figure, uh, one that I was very much looking forward to. He was on my list of most wanted characters from the beginning. Um, I always liked Doc. I, you know, there's just something about the character design, something about the character that appealed to me. You know, being a uh, field medic, um, I, I think it's cool. I mean, you, you get, you get all these Joes whose specialties are kind of blowing things up and shooting things. Um, and he's just sort of a, a, a different style of character, a different type of person, uh, you know, to, to be a medic, I would think. So I always just thought he was a very, very cool character. Uh, anyway, here he is in the box. This is the, uh, the newer slimmer box, which, yeah, it's a box. It's not that exciting, and I'm kind of over the packaging for G.I. Joe's. I was keeping it for the longest time. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the box. Uh, there is Doc in, uh, in a nice big cutout, so I do appreciate that they've gone back to the plastic packaging. Uh, on the side, you get the little... Uh, their little specialty icons and then we still get that digital face and uh, the QR code on the back a render picture with call outs to a couple details so he's got the helmet he's got a unique helmet it looks like some that we've gotten recently uh, apart from having the uh, the little uh, vial pill pill bottles you know there uh, and then the medic on his uh, on his shoulder a whole bunch of legalese and there's a whole bunch more on the bottom on the other side we do still get art um but it's you know it's it's kind of this generic art and i i, I it doesn't do anything for me anymore I'm, I'm kind of less excited about that art uh as i once was uh doc is number 122 for anybody that is keeping track I'm very excited for this figure, so let's get Doc out of the box. All right, first impressions of Doc out of the box. Really, really great figure, really solid figure. Uh, some good parts reuse here. I think he's got shipwrecks, legs. I'm seeing spirits, torso. I think maybe Rakondo's arms. Uh, the, the vest is from the 60th anniversary figure um you know just really really well done because he's he looks completely different from any one of those figures any one of those characters um the color palette is good you know the the different shades of brown uh the reds mix really nicely in with the brown and the tan uh just a really really well done figure uh articulation is good he does he, he does have that weird thing going on with the shoulders that i don't necessarily like um but the uh the the butterfly joint is done pretty well on this figure which is sort of my other pet peeve um with some of these classified figures recently uh the head sculpt is good he looks uh he's got a good strong head sculpt he looks sort of i've always thought of doc as as being uh not old but like older you know more mature more wise uh, and they've done a really good job of, of making him feel that way. Uh, there, there's there's some gravitas to the uh, to 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 this to this face to this head sculpt, um, which uh, I think is important for this character. As I said, he looks really really good, um, and I am really liking this figure. It's uh, it's it's definitely um, as I had hoped. Uh, now I will say this. The, uh, the, the fact that he's a medic, uh, you know, you're, 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 you know, you're not going to get a crazy amount of like weapons as far as accessories go, but, uh, what you do get as far as accessories are actually really, really well done. And I think add to the, to the character, not just to the figure. So let's take a look at the accessories. Starting off with, uh, what I think are kind of his iconic green lensed glasses, uh, these are done really, really well. They're done in a translucent green and then painted. Uh, they didn't paint the outside of the frame, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's going to be a pretty easy fix. I think that's even something I can do, so I'm not really worried about that, but they do look really, really good. I just hope they fit well. Uh, again, the helmet I mentioned already, you know, it's got the little, uh, the little pill vials on the, on either side, which I think is a really, really cool touch. Uh, the black strap on here, or, or dark brown strap, the paint is uh, not so great. 
Uh, it's fine on one side, but it's not as good on the other side because it's, well, I guess too fine. Like the line itself is just applied a little bit too thin. Um, whether I'm going to fix that or not, I don't know. The helmet looks really, really good. It's very, very appropriate and um, I'm digging it. You know, as the uh, as the 60th figure came with the vest and then had a bunch of sort of stuff to plug in, uh, Doc gets that too. So he gets, you know, some, some medical supplies as one thing. He gets a an additional holster as another. He's, of course, got a holster on his hip already there. Uh, or on his, on his thigh, I guess, not on his hip. Uh, but there's another one there. And then for those two holsters, he gets two things he gets a taser as well as a flare gun uh so very non-lethal here i don't know which one fits in which uh but uh I'm, I'm sure one will go in in one and the other will go in the other makes perfect sense and then last but not least he gets a folding uh gurney a, a folding uh stretcher I don't know what the proper term for this is, but anyway, uh, not a lot of paint here, but plenty of sculpt. There's, uh, there's some buckles on here. There's texture to this, you know, there's sort of rivets to where the, the little feet are. Um, the handles are painted, but that is the only thing that is painted. This would pop into two pieces. I'm sure if I wanted it to, uh, I don't know why I would want it to, or to what end I would do that. Um, but as I said, it folds. It also has a peg on the back, so that will mount onto his back, which is super, super cool. Um, just for sort of the sake of curiosity, uh, I wonder how well it fits a six inch figure, and it's pretty much, you know, bang on. Folded, it's, uh, you know, it's probably like six and a half inches, about a half inch sort of long. You know, the handle, it's sort of above head height. Um, so very, very cool. Um, a very, very cool loadout of accessories for a medic. Um, I'm excited to get him all geared up. So I'm going to get him all geared up and posed up and give my final thoughts. All right. So here's Doc all geared up and posed up. Uh, he looks fantastic, and, and, you know, one thing I will say is that with that stretcher on his back, I think he, he looks, he looks the part. This is a great looking figure. It took a minute to get the helmet and the glasses to sort of sit right, uh, as they are separate pieces, uh, that fit very, very snugly. It took, uh, it took a bit of effort to get them on there, but... It they look fantastic. Like I I I was a little bit worried. the The glasses have been a little bit hit or miss on the last couple figures, uh, but these ones do not disappoint. This is a fantastic figure. Uh, very very strongly recommend this guy. And I think you know even if you're not just a GI Joe fan, I think this is a great figure for uh, for for a number of different lines. You know, I think anybody can use a sort of military style medic, and uh, and sort of get him into the collection. The flare gun looks really really good. Um, I uh, I yeah, just all together a really really well executed figure. Uh, go and get yourself one. Uh, I got mine from eCollectibles.ca, so if you don't have one yet, definitely consider reaching out to Mike to get one for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you don't want to miss future videos, hit the bell icon to get notifications. Until next time, bye bye